Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a two-time NBA champion with a professional basketball career expanding more than a decade. Mm, these days, he's showing off his skills in the Big Three League, and not only does he defy the laws of gravity with his amazing blocks, okay, he continues to excel on and off the court. Please welcome down to the circle, Shannon Brown. Yay! Yay. Hello, Shannon. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome to the show. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Michael Jackson sweatshirt. Yes. How are you? Welcome. You. you doing okay? I'm excellent. I can Good. Right down the purple pillow. All right, all right. Yes, yes. Sit on down. Yes. That's right. So let's talk about you and your life and basketball. How did you even get introduced to the sport and how has basketball um, kind of been your refuge? So young. I was young growing up, um, you know, Chicagoland area from Shot Maywood. Town? Yeah, you know, to, uh, to be exact. <laughs> and, you know, that's what it was music, basketball, you know, um, guys go to the park. Uh, just, you know, compete, you know, while we out there. And I, I just used to love watching, you know, uh, for the sake of name dropping like Michael Jordan and yes. Chicago Bulls and everybody. And, you know, the first one I uh, got introduced to it, I didn't know how to play. So I just work, 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 work. And then, yeah. you know, work, work, God, work, work, God work, bless work. me. Right. When did you know it was like your gift? Like this right. was going to be the one that took you far? I think when I first like seen it, I was just intrigued by how they was moving. They was dribbling <laughs> and passing <laughs> right. and shooting. I couldn't, I couldn't do none of it. So I was like, I got to figure out how to make right. it happen. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of which, being able to watch Michael Jordan, be yeah. Michael Jordan. So you know real basketball and yeah. real talent and, yeah. and that era of basketball that we're missing right now. Um, seeing all the, the changes, you know, in the NBA draft trade rules, um, char stars changing teams off and on, mm -hmm. like all this foolishness that's going on down <laughs> to the NBA. Because, you know, I'm old school, so I, I have a problem with a, a couple of the things that are going on. Um, how do you think that it has changed the game? And, and knowing, you know, players like Kobe and uh, – uh, Michael Jordan, what do you, do you think that it has diminished the quality of the NBA? Um, no, I don't think it's uh, diminished the quality of the NBA at all. I think um, guys are, are um, almost kind of flexing or showing, you know, uh, our, I guess, power, for the lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's, it's tough because, you know, you got the owners and the GMs that, that constantly try to, you know, tell you what to do, what to do. You got to right. do this. You can't do this. You got to do this. You can't do this. So now it's like, you know, we kind of got the reins. And so we, you know, we teaming yes. up and, and making things, you know, happen. But what do you, why do you think that they're creating teams? Like, what is the purpose of coming together in this way? Like, I know that to, to be able to have your power, because same thing, in, you know, in music, mm -hmm. you have to exercise your independence, you know what I'm saying, to make more money. Um, is it to make more money or is it to have better basketball? No, I think it's, um, you know, to have better That's basketball, more of a team concept, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. um, teaming up with your, the guys that you grew up with or the like. guys, yeah, that you're familiar you with. So it ain't even that much of a, a gap when it comes to, um, having team camaraderie because mm. you already got that type of relationship work out That's in the important. summertime and then when you get on the court you know it's kind of second nature oh, I know where this guy is I know where to get him the ball at or oh, I know where he like to shoot at then I go get the rebound right. yeah. so That's it's just true. you know just little intricate things yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah good stuff so we recently had Ice Cube on the show mm -hmm. which was great and he told us about the introduction of this great league the big three league what was so intriguing for you to be a part of this league um for me it was just getting out there and being able to play again yeah um, being able to get around a lot of the guys that you know uh, uh, I grew up watching like people don't realize like you you around legends mm -hmm. like every single day right. you learning from them and, and talking to them and like these are guys that that laid the foundation for us so now you know to be able to talk to them and interact with them it's one of the greatest things ever and just to go out there and compete you know it's mm -hmm. it, even though it's three on three half court you no know, guys out there playing hard and trying yeah, to win right. and, yeah you know I, I miss that com that competitive uh, yeah competitive drive what's the biggest challenge in the big three or is it just all fun no nah, it's definitely all fun but the biggest challenge i think is just learning the rules like the rules mm -hmm. are different you yeah. know like if you shoot an air ball you know you get the ball and go back up with it real quick so okay. instead of like having to get it all the way down the court right. yes. and then it's like um like the first to 25 you know it's halftime it's just learning the rules you know mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. learning the rules and going out there and executing, like building, you know, good relationship with your teammates and, and having fun. That's good. Yeah. That's well, good. One of the things that wasn't didn't seem fun down to the news of the big three. Uh, one of your former teammates, right. low key, uh, in the <laughs> recent news, the people said that Lamar Odom, okay, then was deactivated. Man, how you get deactivated from, from the, the big three? three. Yeah, exactly. He was That's deactivated from the big three, and he said, quote, unquote, he was extremely disappointed. What are your thoughts on him being dropped from down to the big three? Um, and, and this is like the, the total honest truth. Okay. I have no idea. 
Well, like I seen it, at, like you know what I mean, on social media, just like everybody else seen right. it, and that's just what it was. I didn't go ask no questions. Right. Like, oh, why Lamar got? Oh, why? Right. You know, whatever the situation was, they chose to deactivate him. Lamar is a great person, and I'm sure whatever else he get into, he gonna be successful at it. But okay. I don't know anything about that situation. At right. all. Cause right. I was happy for him. I, I was happy for him. That was so short lived. Okay. He didn't even did he play? He said it on the daily feed. Yeah. Oh, Shannon Brown's still here. Oh. Listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk about your camp that actually yeah. kicks off today, yeah. your Skills Summit camp. Tell everybody oh, about good. that. So it actually kicked off yesterday. Oh, okay. and, uh, it's like my little my, my brother. Um, he's throwing it for the first time. He mm -hmm. plays for the Milwaukee Bucks, and like everything we do is is, is kind of the same as far as like um, our foundation goes. But he's uh, it started yesterday, and it's just pretty much based around. Um, skills and teaching them about basketball, health awareness, um, and just letting them meet a lot of the kids from around the neighborhood. They That's they probably great. don't get a chance to you know see all the time, and um, it's a great thing. Yeah. Do you see yourself coaching? Are you oh. are you into that? Um, I, yes and no. Like um, because I understand like uh, like. I only got so much control. Like if I like run a play or tell a person what to do, mm -hmm. if they don't do it, it's kind of like. <laughs> I say all that to say I got a lot of respect for the coaching, right, but right. I, I had to get you a lot more your training. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, your pressure yeah. said, yeah. you ain't going to run my play. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're getting out to get me. Right. Get out Absolutely. Right. Well, Shannon, we know that uh, publicly you have been going through a lot. Um, just tell us how you've been able to navigate, you know, just and, and learn more about yourself and be able to, to co-parent and do all that good stuff. No, um, I haven't been going through a lot of nothing. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people... Um, take stories that they hear okay. and they kind of like blow it up for entertainment purposes mm -hmm. but you know um, I've learned how to um, ignore okay. the negativity and okay. um, just keep pushing forward good, and good. I feel like that's what it's all about um, and it's, it's funny because I think a lot of people got the same idea like when they see me they like are you okay and I'm like <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> like, what's, what's wrong right. and so um, it, it's, it's part of it though when you, you when you're in the public eye you mm -hmm. know you got to be able to deal with whatever come along with it and so yeah. I got a, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm strong in my faith and my spirituality, so Amen. that's what, that's what pulled me and pushed me. That's good, good. Do. Well, thank you so much. We yeah. appreciate you Thank being here. Continue success on everything. Yeah. Yes, thank you look so forward much. to having you down to the big three. Don't get yeah. deactivated. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay positive. Stay positive. Do your thing. Stay All right. activated. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For more information on how you can attend a big three game, go to big3.com.